Hey guys, take a minute the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix this error message where no air print printers found error message appears, although you might have a printer that you printed before or is connected to your network, but that is not being discovered on your iPhone. Now, this error message, again, could be multiple reasons why you're seeing this, but we're going to walk you through the most basic troubleshooting to some of the advanced one, and hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to go ahead and air print whatever you're looking to print. So, as you can see here, this message, error message comes on. We're trying, we have this file, and we're looking to simply just print it to a printer that's connected right here that we printed in the past so we click on it but then we go ahead and here try to go and look for the printer it's looking for the printer but each time it's looking for the printer although the printer is next to us right here it's getting that no air print printers found so this message quite annoying you can't print the document and the same goes if you're trying to print a file as well let's go from a photo or something you might be you're looking to photo print this document to the photo you click on that and you're not able to get that so let's go ahead and figure out how to fix this now before we can actually fix this couple things you need to know there's two ways air printer works is that your phone network or the Wi-Fi that you're connected has to be the same Wi-Fi that the printer is set up when it's just a general thing so first thing to check is going into your settings Wi-Fi and make sure that network that you're connected is the same network that your printer is also connected sometimes the network switches or the printer might be on a different network and it won't be be found if you recently update your printer or if you set up a different Wi-Fi it's important to recheck that it is connected now the other thing you want to do it's kind of a little bit uh, more around the printer is you want to check the printer itself to make sure there is paper so it doesn't have a paper jam the ink isn't low there isn't any network error or paper jam and finally look to see if lights are flashing that you don't recognize usually that indicates there's a problem with the actual printer not the phone itself if your iphone can't figure it is because probably the printer has to be fixed first and generally if you want to do is unplug it and plug it back on is a quick way to check to make sure and then turn it back on and once the printer has been turned on give it a few minutes sometimes it takes a few minutes of a printer to connect to the network before you can start printing now if you have done that now let's move on to the next thing you want to do so let's say the printer is on it's been a few minutes and now you want to print again if you have the files app for example we have this open in the files app generally one thing I like to do is go ahead and close out look files app or the photos app whatever app you're trying to print from and once you close it out reopen that app again again this will allow the phone to kind of pick up that you're trying to refresh it so you want to go ahead and click on that one that you want to select and then this time again we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can print and discover that printer one more time now if you're still not discovering the printer the next thing you want to do is restart your iphone by doing a force restart so on iphone 8 up plus and above on iOS 16 we're gonna simply go ahead click the volume up and down and then the volume down button and then hold this big side button and now we're not gonna slide to power off we're just gonna hold that big side button on the right hand side and that will force the phone basically to shut down and then restart again with a fresh reboot of the code so once you see the Apple logo we let go of that button so it's gonna be quickly release the volume up and then click here, press and release the volume down and then hold that side button as you can see so the screen goes black and the Apple logo appear and then you let go of that. Now if your Siri activates when you're doing this that means you weren't quick enough to press and release the volume up and then volume down in that sequence. So once you do that now go ahead and try to see if you can get that printer to print uh, it could be discovered on your phone and printed. Now, if you're still having issues, good chances are now you might want to check out your network of the printer router. So what you do want to do is go check your router and then go ahead and do a restart. Generally, most routers, what to troubleshoot, you want to unplug for about 30 seconds and then replug it in and that will kind of restart the router. Again, you have to give it a few moments before the router can be again powered on fully and ready to go and make sure you're connected to the network and if you are now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and slide your phone from the top or the bottom depending on the version you have we're going to want to turn on and off airplane mode which in this control setting we're going to press that airplane icon right here and then that will turn on airplane mode give it a moment and then we can go ahead and 
unselected that will turn off airplane mode. You can also do this from the settings here by going into airplane mode right up top. You can turn it on, again, give it a few moments, and then turn it back off again. And hopefully that will allow you to now go ahead and print your documents or whatever you're looking to print. Now, if you're still having the issue, next thing you want to do in the settings here, go to general, and this time around, you're going to want to go ahead and do a reset of the network. So we're going to go to reset and then we'll go ahead and click on this first option. Be careful not to click on this bottom option. We want the only reset option. And then this time you want to do the option for network uh, reset settings, which will allow the phone to kind of reset the network, things like Wi-Fi, if you have any VPN or any profile setup that will reset it along with the network itself. Now, be, before you go ahead and do this, quick mention is that if you have settings for other pa Wi-Fi password and stuff, all of that will be removed. So this is going to want the last resort thing you want to do. So be take care when you do that. This will not delete your photos, videos, apps, or media. It's just the network-related settings will be deleted if you do that. And then reconnect to your Wi-Fi one more time again. And hopefully that will fix your issue. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having an issue is actually updating your phone. Sometimes with software, there's bugs on the phone that could be preventing it from discovering your printer. In order to do that, you want to be, again, in the settings, and then this time go to general, and then software update, and then check if there is an update available. So make sure you're connected to, again, Wi-Fi here. And then if there's an update available, it will come up and show up here and say download and install. You want to click on that download and install, and just let the update happen and update it on the Wi-Fi or however you want to, but make sure you're connected to a power source so that the phone can properly update to the latest version. Again, sometimes bugs may be causing, or if there's a software update that might be causing the printer not to be found, and the software update hopefully should fix it. Now, if you have done all of this, as we mentioned, and still not showing up, you're still getting that no printer, there's a pretty much a good chance it's the printer itself. It might be older version of a printer or the printer might be having some sort of issues and in that case there's really not the anything you can do with the iPhone itself but actually contacting the support for your printer company or the manufacturer and kind of let them know what kind of iPhone you have and the version of software you're running which you can go into settings and then if you go into settings here you can go to general and then look for about and in this about it'll tell you the version of the phone and the actual model number as well and this kind of will help them troubleshoot and figure out exactly if there is anything that uh, they can do to you know help you and give you the guide and their troubleshooting of the printer itself so hopefully one of these tips help you guys and we also want to hear from you guys if you found another way to fix that issue leave a comment in the comment section to share it with everyone and if this video helped you guys in any way please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time